Hi Taurus, welcome to your December tarot forecast with me. This is Brooke. Welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much Taurus for the views last month in November. You're the second one for the readings for December. Please watch Sun, Moon, Rising as always in this video. Taurus, I've already pre-shuffled. I did have two cards pop out for you. So we're going to go over those first. So let's get started. Taurus, we come in with the Eight of Wands energy next to the Five of Cups. So these both flipped out together, okay, right next to one another. So this could be indicative of energies that you feel now. This also could be indicative of validations to you, okay, especially over a situation that has occurred, especially in the last five to eight months okay so there's a quickness with the eight of wands energy this is something that's rapid it's out of the blue it's quick it's fast it's it's something that can happen very quickly okay this also could be in terms of communication this also could be in terms of traditionally known as the eras of love card travel etc however with the five of cups energy with attached to the Eight of Wands energy really indicates to me that Taurus has either dealt with or has or you are dealing with emotion or energy of something that is very much aligned with loss, regret, shame, okay, some type of loss. This also could be grieving for some as well. This also could have been a very quick action or a very quick decision that was made that has caused regret has caused shame that has caused feelings of loss okay this also could have been quick communication in the form of loss or grieving or shame or regret with the five of cups energy this did pop out i wanted to go over that with you and clarify that for the reading so let's go forward Lay out the rest of the cards and see how that ties in to the reading for December. Let's see. Okay, well, you just got the same cards that Virgo got in one section. I'll go over that in a second. So we come in with the nine, I'm sorry, the seven of wands or rods in this deck for the month. The seven of rods is basically kind of dodging obstacles, okay? Remember last month was very much talking about destiny and how things were kind of unfolding in terms of it kind of playing a part of like it felt like it was meant to be, okay? So the seven of rods comes in, Taurus. So this can be a feeling of, uh, you know, battling off your haters this could be a feeling of kind of staving off people people are coming at you you may feel like people are coming at you you may also feel like you're having to defend yourself okay or a position of defense okay but there's a there's a an ability here that you've been capable of holding it together somehow you're holding it together okay even if you do feel that, you see, the symbolism of this card is these other rods are coming up at him. But he's very much, you know, staving them off. He's very much capable of kind of keeping it at bounds. So there's this feeling of, when I see this card, it's a position of advantage in terms of overcoming obstacles, overcoming other people's influences, etc. So there's this ability this month where you may feel like things are kind of coming at you. Okay, going into the month of December, you may be feeling this now. A feeling of having to kind of, okay, <laughs> back off kind of feeling going into the month of December. We come out of November with the feeling of heartbreak coupled with happiness. Okay, so the Three of Swords is here next to the sun card so there could have been for some a painful ending a painful moment this could have been uh breakups short-term breakups this could have been an immediacy in terms of 
finding out, you know, shock value in terms of a painful communication from someone. There could have been tears, heartbreak, etc. Something has been cut off or something has been very painful for Taurus. But at the same time, it's also gained or given you freedom. In terms of happiness, something's been gained from this, okay? Something's been gained from this loss. Something's been gained for you in some fashion, okay? So things are kind of like, on the one hand, that sucked, but on the other hand, this is great. So there's this duality of, you know, this thing had to happen, whatever it was for you, Taurus, but the same token, there's been something that's been positive that is gained from this or you are happy about uh, either someone causing someone pain, someone has caused you pain, but somewhere in there you found yourself feeling positive about the situation or gaining more positive energy about it or something's turning itself for you, Taurus. It's... It's like a duality, okay? It's a duality of some kind that's framing your energy in December. But you have this energy also of people kind of attacking you, coming at you, okay? Maybe you're expending yourself in different directions. This also could be uh, people that you're having arguments with, people that don't favor you too much. Something's going on with that, okay? So if this pain, the Three of Swords to me is immediate. Okay, this also could be short term, whatever or however this pain came in, there's a sense for you of kind of like, oh, you know, happier days ahead. Something's gained from this for you. This also could be success for other people. Okay, if the heartbreak was caused by you or from someone else, they're kind of uh, feeling a little bit better, perhaps about where it's taken them. Okay, so somebody's happy either with seeing you suffer or somebody's happy in terms of moving on, okay? But you're still kind of like having to deal with this type of energy in December. So I don't know what that's about. So <laughs> out of the most recent past, we have the Magician coupled with the Six of Swords. So the Magician really tells me that you are the captain of your destiny. Okay, here, here she goes with destiny again. The magician is very much about creating your reality. You've created your reality, whether it's through actions, whether it's through thought, whether it's through decision making, okay? And it's taken you into a new direction. This could be travel. This also could be moving out of a difficult situation. This also could be other people from your actions moving out of a difficult situation and moving forward. So this is coming out of the most recent past. So the magician is very much about creating, creation of your reality or of your future or what you wanted to have come about. Okay, it's the exchange of energy. And it's moving Taurus forward. You're moving out of this difficult situation, circumstance, out of this troubled period, and you're moving forward, okay? So perhaps you were doing some work on yourself, personal goals in November, affirmations, therapy, whatever it is, reading, okay? Manipulation of energies or whatever, of what kind, here we come in next with the Ten of Pentacles coupled with the Page of Swords. This is family. This is legacy. When I see the Ten of Pentacles, it's security, but it's also legacy. There's a legacy, Taurus, that's, that you're leaving a big imprint on. Your legacy. Okay? Your legacy with your family. Your legacy in the home. This could be with inheritances. This could be with family financial situations. This also could be financial gain and security in the month of December. But this is legacy. The Page of Swords is quick decision making in terms of communication. This is also a card of gossip, spying, 
other people talking, other people are watching you, other people are talking about your family financial situation, other people are talking about your legacy that you're leaving, other people are, are, are interested, okay? So the question to ask you is, why are they interested and what is going on here in terms of the speculation or interest? So something is very much centered around or upon the family unit, family legacy, and there's interest. So when I see the Page of Swords, this is spying, social media stalking, Googling people. This also could be rumors, speculation, etc. So Virgo got the same pair in the reading, but in a different position. Okay, we have the Tower next to the Three of Cups. So this pair has traveled into your reading. It was different for Virgo's placement, but how I see it for you, Taurus, is very much a situation where there was a lot of chaos. The foundation was not solid to begin with, and it ultimately crumbled. Something is crumbling or has crumbled. This could be the family unit. This could be a marriage. This could be a relationship. This could be job security. Something's tumbling down, okay? Something's basically tumbling down. This also could be some for a catastrophic event. This could be a tumultuous event for some as well. So the tower's message is when events happen, it's happening because there's not a firm, solid, rooted foundation to begin with, okay, ultimately. The Three of Cups speaks along the levels of new beginnings, this also could be involving three people. This also could be involving family members. This also could be involving uh, people that have very strong connection to one another. But this ultimately is telling me there's a beginning. A new beginning is now beginning. Okay, did I just say that? A new beginning is now beginning. <laughs> okay, so there's... <laughs> This could be in the form of a relationship. This could be in the form of, for some, this could also be the shock value of even finding out that you're pregnant. Okay, this is a general reading. So the Three of Cups could be very indicative of like a triad, as I explained to Virgo. There's a triad of energies here, okay, in the month of December. So I don't feel especially with this card, that is just a one-on-one -on -one thing for you, Taurus. This is coming at you from multiple people, or this is coming towards you, or this pain that was caused, whether to yourself and your family, or your, your co-workers, or your situation, or reflected from you onto them. However, this works for you. It's affected more than one person, okay? Here we come in with the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. So the t two tens in a reading, that's ultimate completion. Something is very definitely done. Okay, it's done. So the Ten of Swords is indicative of a final ending. This can be in the form of energy that is perceived as betrayal, backstabbing, painful. Once again, going back to that pain. Okay, the symbolism of this card really doesn't sugarcoat anything. So there may be, for you, a sense of finality or a final ending in December of surrounding this situation, okay? With the Ten of Cups, this is very much relatable to family. You have three tens in the reading, Taurus. I mean, come on. We have three tens in the reading. We have all the tens except the Ten of Wands, which, let me... Let me pull another card. No, that's not it. So, three tens in the reading, what does that tell you? That's a card of completion. That's a card of ending. That's, a, that's wrapping it up. It's a wrap, okay? We're wrapping something up. In the month of November going into December, definitely solidifying, wrapping it up. 
Okay, something perhaps in a marriage has ended. Something perhaps in the family is coming to an end. Okay, perhaps something is ending and now people are now moving on. And they're getting emotional support from other people. Or they're rebuilding their family or they're rebuilding their lives in some way. There seems to be a dynamic of light and shadow in your reading. Okay, Whatever actions that were done, decisions that were done, there seems to be an action, like a reaction, action, reaction, and you're dealing with it right now. Okay, whatever those actions were within the five, within the last five to eight months. Okay, so this card in particular, the Seven of Rods energy, is embattlement or protecting yourself or fighting off people or having the feeling that people are just kind of coming at you in the month. How you navigate that's very important for your well-being, for your mental state, emotional state, okay, etc. for the month of December. Let's see what else we have. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Rods. There may be a moment throughout all of this, and your yearly reading for 2019 will be coming out in December. Some form of communication may be coming through for you in December that gives you a kind of a lift or kind of a boost that could be indicative of good communication, good news of some kind, which you may desperately need. Because there seems to be... A situation, once again, that was really hard, really painful, caused other people pain perhaps, but on the flip, on the flip side, there's been some sort of, I'm glad that happened kind of feeling. I'm glad that this, there's a sense of happiness about it. There's a sense of accomplishment or you feel successful and something or other people have felt successful and making you hurt. Okay. It's caused them happiness in some form. Interesting reading, Taurus, for December. So, good luck to you, Taurus. <laughs> Keep me posted. Thank you so much for watching. Please help me make my way to 7K. I'm trying to reach 7,000. All right. I've been on this channel for long time I'm trying to reach 7,000 if y'all can help me do that I appreciate it please subscribe if you haven't already check out my social media below as well as my website have a blessed month Taurus have a blessed month Taurus and I'll speak to you soon